I was just watching the parliamentary debate on International Men's Day and um, Philip Davies isn't the spokesman I'd choose but he's the one we've got um, and I guess we owe him for campaigning and, and taking it this far um, and for a while there it was kind of hopeful that it would actually discuss men's issues um, as it turned out not not so much we saw the same kind of derailing to use a social justice term that we usually do it seemed like every other speaker was trying to twist it around and make it about women's issues or to blame men and we saw all the all the buzzwords you know the patriarchy hurts men too and toxic masculinity you know and some frankly insulting things that if the sort of gender mirrored version of them had been said in parliament that mp would be splattered across the pages of the of the sunday papers and there would be demands that they would resign um particularly uh things just snp mp uh Tislima ahmed sheikh she's the one who came up with most of the buzzwords and the scorn and the and the hatred <laughs> making up for Jess Phillips not being there I suppose um, I've tried to contact her I doubt I'll get anywhere with it um, same as I didn't really get anywhere trying to get through to Jess Phillips it just ended up being blocked and ignored what disturbs me the most is that most of the opposition to dealing with men's issues comes from left-wing parties that are supposed to be about equality and fairness and treating everyone equally yet they seem the most entrenched in not taking men's issues seriously at all even when it comes to things like suicide and there was the the disclaimers before people spoke well you know i'm uncomfortable with this topic and should we really be discussing this and i must establish my feminist credentials before i open my mouth well, can't we just have one day, and yeah, it's not 365 days. It's one day where we can talk about men's issues without without it being deflected to talking about women's issues. You know, that's what International Women's Day is for. That's what the weekly brief on women and equality is, is for, or whatever it's called, you know. Can we have one day to talk about men? My... Um, my video about male suicide which was the theme this year much as it was the theme last year um, has had some good traffic my blogs and stuff have had some good traffic off, off the back of that and thanks to Martin Dobney for, for promoting it but that means I've had quite harrowing comments and um, emails from guys who who are really suffering and there's nothing I can really do for them except to say that I, f I feel the same way sometimes you know and, and you're not alone that's the extent of the help I can give them I can tell them to go to their GP or to find the Samaritans um, Yeah, I've seen I've seen and I've heard from so many guys who are really fucking hurting today. Um and then to sit through that and to read some of the some of the comments on Twitter and other places, just disparaging the whole thing. You know, you finally get a debate in Parliament and it still gets treated like a joke. And there's all these guys telling me, you know, I'm 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 going to be homeless soon, or my wife's taken everything. I've got nothing to live for if I don't see my kids. Um, or I've lost my job, and I've lost all purpose and meaning in my life. Um, and all I can tell them is see a doctor, get on the pills, get on the waiting list. Maybe you'll find something that can help. You know, call the Samaritans or whoever else if if you feel like shit. 
and that's all I can do. <laughs> that's not enough, is it? And nobody else seems to want to do anything concrete to help help them. And you have to, even to acknowledge there's an issue, you have to apologise for yourself. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm not, I'm not comfortable talking about men's issues, and obviously I'm a feminist, and most of this stuff is nonsense. But yeah, maybe we should do something about guys killing themselves. Believe it or not, I'm okay at the moment. I just... Some of these guys who contacted me, you know, I'll never hear from them again. One way or the other. And I'm always going to wonder. Fuck it.